Good morning, Cold Spring Harbor. I'm Dean Carfora. And I'm McLean Carlin. Today is Wednesday, November 18th, and it is a day three. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Thanksgiving treats. Is there someone in your life that you are particularly thankful for? Students and staff, what a perfect opportunity to let a friend or colleague know you appreciate them and why you are thankful to have them in your life. Stop by Cafeteria A this week to purchase your Thanksgiving treats, complete with a thankful message. Only one dollar per treat. All proceeds benefit the junior class. The Gender, the gender Equity Club will have a meeting today at 2.30 with special guests. The topic is women in sports, and Ms. Barbara Sellers, former teacher, coach, and director of athletics, will be speaking as well as, well as informed high school athletes. Snacks will be served. Hope to see you there. We would like to congratulate the SWAT team for putting together a great anti-tobacco poster display. Thursday is the Great American Smokeout. If anyone wants to adopt a smoker or smokeless tobacco user and help them pledge to stop using tobacco, see Mr. Homer for a form. Shout out to the girls who cut their hair for locks of love today. We will show pictures tomorrow. The fall play has been in tech this week for their production of These Shining Lives. This play is based on the true story of four women who worked in a watch factory in Ottawa, Illinois. The job, which seems easy enough for four main characters, is painting the hours marking out the different size wash dials using a radium compound, which glows in the dark. After a few years, the workers notice that their hands start glowing in the dark, but assume that it is just from the radium powder that is used to paint the faces. The ladies develop ailments, including jaw infections and bone pain, but several local doctors tell them that all they need is aspirin, which of course doesn't help. After years of searching, they find a doctor who is willing to put his name on the line and diagnose the women with radium poisoning. Take a look at the trailer created by Brittany McGowan for this weekend's production of These Shining Lives. This is the pain. And it starts. It's not a tragedy of an enzyme. It's something else. We are something else. We're the one. We're the curiosity. We're the heroes, the failures, the heroes, the apathy. We're progress in history. We're news. We're the new world. But we're just girls who wanted to work. It wasn't supposed to be this easy. It wasn't supposed to go so fast. Oh, come on. You can't come on. Never come on. I'm letting you go. Please, you, you can't. I have to. I have a lesson going around the clock. You would sue? You really would? Radium dial uses material that contains pure radium only. I bleed. I'm bleeding. Mrs. Dobbs, you came to the hearing today, supported by her husband and a friend. She was cheap. They ate. What a healthy and alert. She weighed only 71 pounds and could hardly stand alone. And I can't find a doctor who knows what's wrong. There's a doctor. I can't find a doctor who will listen. But he's made the time for my hero. It felt as though we'd been together forever. There's a devil in the keys made of time. Two pieces of bone. There are angels. So stop fighting with your silly optimism. It's a miracle that they were taken from my job. They're all made of I'm going to roll with that. I was going to die with them. You know he's going to deal with them. Well, hi, he hurt his face. You tell me how to live my life. We were all there. There's something wrong with me, and I'm scared. And we were shy. Come see These Shining Lives this Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. and Sunday at 2 p.m. in the pack. And that's the Hawk Talk for today. See you tomorrow for Trivia Thursday. Until then, I'm McLean Carlin. And I'm Dean Carfora. Have a great, great day, day Colesman Harbor. Harbor.